Get in. Get in. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, guys? This is Eric from Atypical Outdoors. Now, guys, we're going to hop straight into this video, but a little bit of house cleaning before we start. Please make sure to subscribe, guys. Things have been going well. We're catching fish. We're going to start 2021 off with a bang. So make sure you subscribe and you're ready for some dope adventures. Now, guys, this straight up was the worst fishing trip ever at first. <laughs> it didn't turn out at the end to be that way, but at first it was horrible, guys. Cold front came through. It's super cold, guys. I'm not prepared for how cold it's actually going to be on this fishing trip. Second cast, guys, I throw out brand new lipless crankbait. Waited for like a week and a half to get up in Tackle Warehouse. Set the hook, and I think it's a log. Pop. It snaps instantly, and I'm pissed off, guys. So I continue to fish this pond for about another 40 minutes. No bites, guys. In my head, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to have to use conventional gear. So we're going to roll this clip right now. First fish of the day. Yes, sir, solid four pounder. Oh, thank you. I'll take you guys on a super cold day like this, especially a cold front in South Georgia. It is hard to catch fish, but a solid one nonetheless. All right, guys, so I catch this small fish on a bottom bait. I thought since we had a cold front, they would only be biting bottom baits. So, fish for some more. And at this point, I'm like, you know what, forget it. Thankfully, I did catch a fish. This is not how I'm planning out this trip in my head to go. And I'm freezing, guys, and my hands are numb. So, I'm like, you know what? I bought this particular swim bait just for this body of water. And it's the unique swim bait, it's the G2. Looks just like a golden shiner. This body of water is filled with golden shiner. And I had the owner flashy hook that has that gold on the bottom. So I was like, you know what? I got a green bait that looks like a golden shiner and it has that flash of gold on the bottom. This should be killer for this body of water. I buy lures just for a particular body sometimes where I feel like it can give me somewhat of an advantage. So let's roll this clip and let's see how everything else plays out. Like it was a fish like right here. Oh, oh shit. That fish bumped the hell out of it. Gah. Whoa. It's a big fish, bro. What the hell happened just then? I'm stuck in a tree. Damn, I got lit up. He take me into a tree. No. So at this point, guys, I realized I just lost this fish. This was a hard this fish hit it so hard guys now people tell me swim bait fish hit soft plastics hard <laughs> they are not lying guys this fish demolished my bait and took me straight into that tree at that point i was like you know what guys my day is done i messed up i lost my opportunity so in my head everything is still spinning there. all right cool that's the second bite in within minutes of fish on actual stomps and trees in the water. So I got one big group left. This is the same group to where I caught my 9.4 pound bass at. So I fire out there and the rest is history. That's a good fish. Oh, shoot. Oh, giant. That's a 
I'll just get in. Get in. Oh. Yeah. That was the second fish. I almost missing this bait, guys. This is a tank. Holy cow. Got him on the yarn bait. What a fat fish, guys. Look at that. This one's approaching 910. Holy cow. Shoo. Look at that bait, guys. Man, he hit it like a ton of bricks. Boom. Let me weigh this fish up. Guys, this fish is right at 10 pounds. I don't know. Oh, my God. nine pounds nine pounder guys what a freaking monster man oh man what a fish and a super special fish at that guys this is my official personal best bar swim bait fishing one reason it was super important was guys i had no faith in soft plastic swim baits this fish gives me the faith to keep throwing soft plastic swim baits I mean, I fish in so many areas up north. I fish in trout-fed lakes. In, in the south, I fish in these super grassy lakes. So I plastic swim baits need to be in my arsenal. So I got to keep casting, keep trying, and continue to get better, guys. Thank you for coming along for this journey. I'm super excited. <laughs> I know I don't see you pump, but guys, this made my whole two or three weeks probably just be real with you guys. What a massive fish. It came in at nine pounds. I have an old spring cell, so... That thing could have been from nine to 10, who knows guys, but the girth, the side of the fish was bigger than my hand. So it was just a ridiculous fish, a monster. Well guys, take care, tight lines, and thanks for all the support. We'll see you on a video soon.